This is Papa Smurf and this is my lock lab. Um, right, start the tour over on the one side. We've got a couple of sockets there that I'm in the process of trying to get wired in. By then we've got some Baker files. Behind that there's a, a little black piece of wood that I've sprayed up that used to hold all my rim cylinder locks so I could use it as a practice board and you can just see one there that's still got a few locks in it as well. Uh, there's another two just there that I actually put sandpaper through and use it when I'm making picks. Some more files, some old ones that I was given by my dad, some newer ones, finger files, needle files etc. In front of them you see my these are actually my lock picks that I use every day. My uh, southern speciality is jackknife, my set of Petersons, a few Dangerfield in there as well. Uh, Sparrow's Monstrum kit with a few extras in there as well. And my, get you back there, my other pile. Uh, not one I take with me regularly. And then there's a set of South Ord picks there as well. Below them, there's a set of three different um, worktop samples so that I can make into pinning trays. At the back here, we bought some cable ties so we can do like Lock Noob did with the sparrows. We can change the handles to decent ones. I love the picks and hate those handles. We've got some long wiper blade inserts which are off uh, lorry and then some shorter ones which are off cars. Down there we've got all our Dremel bits and pieces, um, a few unopened kits as well. In the little tray there we've got some glue, some Southord ball picks, um, some unopened sparrows, uh, tension wrenches. Next to it we've got uh, disc detainer locks and a disc detainer pick, grub screws, a little bit of sandpaper, polishing compound. In this one we've got a few locks. This Yale lock is one, uh, it's a reverse Yale keyway, which I re-pinned its um, impression to key for it, only I can't get the key out. It comes so far and then sticks, so I need to strip it and redo that. And there's some hook blades for I'm going to try and use them for um, pin making. In this one we've got a couple of knackered old bodies. Um, that's these two at the front. All these here are warded padlocks. Here we've got uh, a cheap plastic euro, um, a dimple cutaway lock off Amazon. My dimple picks, my tubular lock picks. There's my Dremel and some 2.8mm brass rod, some brass tube and really thin brass rod so I can make pin in pin um, pins for future challenge locks. So if you get one of them you know what you're in for. Um, here we've got uh, an air duster, some 3 in 1. Um, some epoxy, some more three in one, some various pliers, etc. Rough, I think that's 40 grit paper there. That is a box of disc detainer, no, they're not, they're jiggler keys and warded padlock keys. Here we have some um, snapped euros without keys. These three are off Boris ZBZZM. Um, I'm not sure where I got this silver one from. At the front there's three dimple locks and a combination lock. I haven't even bothered looking at them yet. So there's no way I could open them. Here is my collection of Euros, unsnapped, double cylinders, all different makes. ISO, Yale, Sterling. There's a Dom in there somewhere. GG. There's a few MP10s and MP5. Um, in this box that I've just managed to push the lid in, um, is snapped euros with keys that are in the process of being made for challenge locks. Moving across, a magnifying glass for really small pin work. 
taps there's some more taps sets under there a pot full of pencils Stanley knife and screwdriver more dremel bits my disassembly kit um, my sparrows disassembly reload kit normally lives up there but it's down here already open from the previous take which my iPad died on um, these were made for me by uh, Foxy and by Boris um, ZB ZZN and Tom um, there's some locks these are padlocks that I've received in trades except for the cast which I bought and to be fair I've opened that one once and the rest I haven't managed to open uh, these are some more that I had off Frosty 901 um, the quick set and the Ilco are usually what I'd class as my comfort locks because they're not hard picks but at the moment I'm struggling to even pick them um, there's a couple of UK ones there that I take with me these four at the front these are normally what I take that I pinned up as training locks that top one there has got a spool in it uh, I'll come back to the Union the Yale there has got serrated in it and this one has got a tap core with two spools this one is fully loaded with security pins um, as you can see it's not friendly bitting but it's interesting and when I'm picking well I can pick it and at the moment I'd struggle to open my front door with a key and you've got my bench grinder behind it I have got a polishing wheel for it but I need a spacer and I haven't made one yet in that black drawer cabinet that's where I keep my different tools if I'm open it one-handed um, more lollipop sticks more old tools etc uh, a beta block Moving across, we've got a, a brand new era that I actually got given yesterday. But the bitting on this is so friendly, it is unbelievable. It was my last actual pick, and I picked it in a voice which, believe me, makes a change for me. I normally pick in hand. And we get to the good stuff. This is one of my pinning kits that I've been making up. Um, I bought 24 ounce of pins from the States, and that's a fairly lot of pins. Um, there's that one. There's a Sparrows one there, including that body, which I managed to break. Uh, various bits that I make for pins. Um, make for pins. I use for pin making, should I say. Along with the lathe there. It's where my shims live when I'm disassembling locks. More beta blocks, um, that's an Abus padlock pinning kit and below it is a Casp padlock pinning kit. This is where I normally make my uh, challenge locks. So you've got four there ready to go out. Um, the top one's going to Chrissy V and the next one down is going to Rick. And I'm sorry, I'm not even going to pronounce your screen name. Um, one I'm actually in the process of messing about with is this one there's actually two sets there but only one core and two sets of driver pins next to that is my naughty bucket which has got boatloads in a lot of these are still sealed because I just couldn't pick it if I tried there are some locks in here that I can pick quite regularly but they've just been chucked in here out of the way while I was getting ready to make this video um, the cheap Chinese one, the baton, the tricircle, I can open them no problem. Um, the Ruko I can't, um, I can't wait to open that and actually gut it. And this is one I had off Yukov, it was one of four or five I had off him and I'm still struggling for that, thanks mate. What else we've got in here, we've got um, an ABS ever set which I haven't even looked at yet so I managed to get a good deal on that uh, AVS, uh, Avocet ATK sorry there's a couple of garrisons down here there's a 7 pin lock that I put on a photo on where it's a great lock and a shit key there's some American stuff in here uh, which I really really love uh, American locks there's a couple of master locks um, sesame lock and I say oh there's MP10s, MP5s, there's some Union boxes that I've just taken the Unions out and there's one of the shells I've done which has actually got uh, a piece bent in here 
so it locks the key in place which is not good um, I've not long bought this it's a little micro um, screwdriver set from Lidl and a cheap 20 pound bench grinder mini bench grinder with polisher and everything if we come over here there's my drain cleaner on the top right there a couple of more power sockets are going to be going in there dust pan and brush because I hate having all the filings and everything everywhere there's my minion at the lorry all these boxes and things here are for packaging purposes um, I don't throw them away I recycle them there's a bike lock there that I've never opened my hacksaw my to-do list and if you really want to have a look yeah that's long enough uh micrometer there it's not the right word but i can't think what it's called digital caliper and as i'm in the process of putting sockets in there's the power that's currently powering the light i put up there and what else we got various toolboxes that bag is full of um, jiffy paper bubble wrap and stuff drills of various sorts there's a heat gun there uh, a box with all my sky stuff in these are different toolboxes i had when i was doing sky and bt and stuff like that and there's a little bit of sandpaper there um my bar stool and my little green bag that i take everything to work with me in that black toolbox there there's a few locksmithing bits um some bump keys i was given that is my lock lab i'll sign off now because i think my battery's about to die so papa smooth saying thank you